that life in Qatar. Yes, you are gonna be depressed. You are gonna be depressed, depressed in Qatar. There is nothing like hello guys you're welcome back to my channel in case today is the first time you're seeing this beautiful face uh -huh. please make sure you subscribe thank you for coming to only space my name is Ole Bube and this is only space please hit this direct button that says subscribe right here just hit it now okay and the bell beside it press on it it's very necessary thank you and to my returning subscri subscribers I want to thank you all for always coming back to watch my videos for always supporting me thank you so much God bless you so guys, in today's video, I want to talk about 10 things you need to know about Qatar in case you want to embark on any journey to Qatar, either to live or to visit or to walk. Yeah. So these are the things you need to know. Okay. And guys, do you know that Qatar will be hosting the World Cup in 2022? Yeah? Yes. So the eyes of the world is going to be upon Qatar in 2022. Okay. So guys, having stayed here for uh, four years, yes, I've stayed here for four years. These are some of the things that I know and necessary for anyone who wants to come to Qatar to also know about it because I didn't know about these things before I came here. So if this is what you want to watch, then stay tuned. Don't so worry. guys, the number one thing you need to know about Qatar is that it's a Muslim country, yes. And just like every other Muslim country, they worship on Fridays, okay? Unlike where I'm coming from, we worship on Sundays. But here, it is done on Fridays. So everybody has the freedom to practice their religion. The next thing you need to know about Qatar is that it's one of the safest country with low crime rates, okay? It is very safe here. Like, since I came here, I've not heard of any crime or, you know, I've not witnessed any. That is it. Literally, I've not witnessed any crime. I've seen people, you know, lose their paws or one thing or the other. You must see a way of getting it back. There is always a way of getting it back. Someone might just pick it up. If there is a way to contact you, they will contact you. If there is no way, they can bring it to, you know, social media on Facebook and say, okay, they pick so, 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 and so. Or sometimes they take it to the police, you know, and when it gets to the police, they have a way of getting your contact through your ID and you get your items back. So that is how it is done here. Qatar is very safe. Like you can go out without locking your door and you just be unbothered. Hmm? You can even, you know, park your car without uh, locking it. I know when you lock your car, you still have to pull the door to confirm that it is very locked. <laughs> you don't have to do that here, guys. Qatar is very safe. So the next thing is... The next thing you need to know about Qatar is their money, okay? Yes, the currency we use here in Qatar is the Qatari Reals. That is what it is called. Their money, they use Qatari Reals, okay? And Qatar produced uh, new notes, all right? They've changed their notes to new ones and they added 500 Qatar Real notes to the existing ones they have. So very soon, they're going to stop using the old notes and start using the new ones fully yes. another thing you need to know about Qatar is that for you to come here to live and work you must be under a sponsorship okay no matter who you are no matter your country as long as you're not a citizen it's not like uh, maybe just walk into a country and do whatever you like no here you must have a sponsor for you to be able to work else you'll not be able to get a job if they have a company sponsorship you know there are individual sponsorship also there are also husbands sponsorship so there are family sponsorship it depends there must be a sponsor for you to get a job okay so even if you're in your home country and you're looking for work here in Qatar, you have an intention of coming to work in Qatar, you must find a job through a company. That company will offer you a job and become your sponsor and bring you over to Qatar. Then when you start working in Qatar and you want to, you know, move further, you know, progress, change to another job, you have to also transfer your sponsorship. Okay. You have to transfer your sponsorship before the next company will even before you even begin working with them so for instance if a man is under a, a company's sponsorship and he's working for the company then he has a wife who is also working if by adventure the company he's working for terminates him it's going to affect the wife yes because the wife is under the husband's sponsorship and the husband is 
under the company sponsor guys this is how the thing works here so if the company terminates the man the only thing the man have to do immediately to sustain you know and retain his family here is for him to transfer his sponsorship immediately look for another place you know to get a sponsorship even if he has not gotten a job immediately he needs to transfer the sponsorship else they are going to cancel his visa and when they cancel his visa he cannot go and his wife will remain here no he will have to live with everybody that is under him that is how it was i hope i'm making sense so for you to live here and work basically you must be under someone's sponsorship the fifth thing is alcohol okay you need to know that alcohol can't be seen anyhow here yes you can't even purchase it anyhow you can't see alcohol in the malls uh shops supermarkets you can't purchase alcohol and drink it anyhow in Qatar. And before you can be able to buy, you need you need a license, all right? And your sponsor is the one to give you that license. You know, I just finished talking about sponsorship and all that. You see, so your sponsor is the one to give you the license to purchase an alcohol. And that's I think there is a limit to yes, there's a limit to what you can buy at a time i think so so guys if you're already used to drinking alcohol if you're already an addict and your name your surname is already alcohol hey you need to you need to consider you know you need to consider going for rehabilitation consider going for rehab first before coming to qatar so guys okay. the thing you need to know about qatar is the dress code yes here in qatar you have to dress modestly that is it you know it's a muslim country okay and here it is not allowed uh, to wear bomb shorts as a woman you can't wear bomb shorts and come out or even sleeveless top you know what spaghetti hand top Things that can't cover your body properly. You can't wear that on the streets of Qatar. It is not allowed. Yes, that is it here. You know, here the women of this place, they wear, uh, you know, the Muslim women, they wear hijab and all that. Nobody is going to compel you to wear that, of course. But you have to dress decently. You have to dress modestly. Anywhere you are going to. Currently, there are certain places men can't wear shorts to, even uh, to the hospitals. There are some malls men can't wear shorts to. Another thing you need to know about Qatar is that summer can get really, really hot. Yes, guys, you heard me. Like now we are in summer and the weather is always hot. So it can get really hot here. Like during summer, the weather can get to like 50 degrees Celsius here yes it can and uh the winter also it gets very cold yes the, it gets very cold and sometimes it gets as low as 10 degrees here to tell you that you know eight out of the 12 months are the months that we enjoy good weather here in Qatar. the remaining four months the summer months guys it's always terrible like you have to be grateful for the ac in your house the water here they get very very hot so it can get really hot and it can get cold sometimes so just know you know when you're coming just know the things you are coming with the types of clothing you are coming with so guys the next thing you need to know about kata is i don't know if this one is necessary but i just have to say it you know i just have to say it there is nothing like cohabitation here there's nothing like cohabitation you cannot live with someone who you are not married to or someone who is not married to you okay as a woman now i cannot come and live with a man who is not who is not married to me okay you cannot live with your boyfriend let me be serious you cannot live with your boyfriend or as a man you cannot live with a girlfriend it is illegal yes i don't know but some people may be doing it but just know it is illegal they see you living with someone you are not married to they may get you arrested you know and sometimes it may lead to deportation so no matter the orientation you already have or the kind of civilization you think you already have once you come to Qatar, you must abide by their rules and regulations now let's talk about transportation when you land in Qatar, you're going to land at the uh, Hamad International Airport and there you're going to see taxis here in Qatar, there is the Karwa, there is the Karim, there's the Uber I think there's another one okay so these are the taxis these are some of the taxis in Qatar that can you know convey you from one place to the okay. other the minimum 
price you can get for the Fexi is eight Qatar reals. It depends on where you are going to, but don't expect any Fexi to charge you below eight reals. Okay, there are also the ones uh, that uh, their minimum rate is uh, ten reals. Okay, I think the minimum for Uber is uh, eight reals. Why the minimum rate for? for Karua is 10 reals all right so there are also uh, buses yes there are buses and you can purchase a card for 10 Qatar reals and this card can take you uh, to two rounds journey can take you to and fro that is for the buses then there is the metro the metro is the cheapest and the card is sold at two Qatar reals that is very very cheap okay so these two Qatar reals will take you to two round journey and the metro closes by 12 a.m so this is it about transportation in qatar now let's talk about the last one the last thing you need to know before you come to qatar guys is that there is no social life in qatar no social life <laughs> guys i play too much but let me tell you there is no social life in qatar yes you are gonna be depressed you are gonna be depressed depressed in qatar the only thing people do here is go to work go home go to work go home go to appointment go to the mall guys it is depressing especially for extroverts for introverts like me i don't have any problem Buffy muscular <laughs> I can stay at home from money tonight as long as I have my internet, I have my food, I don't mind. But if you know you like partying, you like clubbing, you like you know, one day, you like going out, you like you know, going from one activity to the other, I'm sorry to bust your bubble. It is not like that in Qatar. Sorry, there's no social life here, so sometimes it is very depressing okay but then that is why we have the internet we have a uh, you know social media we have a uh, groups you can look for your community you can look for you know you can join so many groups that can be keeping you busy you know so that is it guys i think that is all i have for this video and i'm going to end it here if you have any question or video suggestions like some people do they come to my inbox on facebook to ask me questions about kata please drop them in the comment section here because when you send them on my facebook it takes me a lot of time before like i can't believe i'm seeing messages from september last year about kata please drop them in the comment section and i promise you your video suggestions, your video, whatever you want to know, I am going to do it. I will deliver, okay? I will deliver right away, okay? Thank you for watching, please. I will see you in my next video. Bye! Deep within, here we go Somehow I'm caught in the middle Is this the end before we've even been